Yo guys, it's Illogical or Logical YT here, back again with another YouTube video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the new PUBG update that will change the game. Well, that has changed the game. But before we hop straight into this episode, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share my channel with your friends, and hit that little bell thing to be part of the notification squad. And now we can hop straight into the video. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about in this new PUBG Mobile update is the Royale Pass. So the Royale Pass has added a lot of new things into the game. And as you can see here, um, you have the rewards that you get from completing the missions. I'm just going to, you have the reward that you get for completing the missions. As you can see, I'm only um, Royal Pass level three. And once you pass level one, you get the skin for the M16A4 in this hoodie. And we have, you get RP, I think that's worth like $3 or something. And then you get UC, which is the in-game currency. And then you get like emotes, BP, ID, rename cards, more emotes. And like, you could even change your plane, like your plane skin, you can change that too. And a room card three day, I think it allows you to make an unlimited amount of rooms for three days. And you also get like little suits and stuff. This actually looks fresh. I actually, I'm going to get the Royal Pass either today or tomorrow. I'm going to make a video on it. So expect it within two to four days of me uploading this video. But this is not all to the Royal Pass. So when you see, when you want to upgrade your pass, you can get the Elite Upgrade and then you can get the Elite Upgrade Plus. Increase, RP increases 20 ranks at once get a new plane finish so i guess this is like buying more tiers in fortnite but it's called an elite upgrade plus but i'm probably just gonna get the elite upgrade for 600 uc because that's ten dollars this one is twenty dollars the elite upgrade plus and so when you purchase the rank unlocks the following rewards now and you could buy ranks so it allows you to buy the a certain amount of ranks that you want if you want to reach to like tier 70 i don't know how much you see that would cost but i'm not gonna go all the way over there but you're gonna unlock all of this stuff when you reach rank 36 or when you purchase this but that's not all the stuff you're gonna unlock if you have the royal pass and you want to purchase ranks and then you could also redeem this stuff with RP. It's so like this stuff over here. This actually looks pretty fresh. I'm actually going to work towards this. I like that a lot. It looks really good. And then they have challenge missions and daily missions that you can complete to get more RP. And I don't know how you redeem your RP. I think I have a decent amount, but I'm not sure. Oh... So it's available at the Royal Pass rank 70. So you have to play till you get to rank 70 with the Royal Pass, which is actually going to be pretty difficult unless you grind all day. And they also added a couple of new things to this game, like first person perspective, as that's what they're calling it. And but a notice for that is when you switch over to first person mode, it gives you new statistics. So these are my statistics, killed off ratio of the kills. And so see, look at, at the top here, you can see current season, classic, first person perspective and North America. So when you go here, you change it to third person perspective. This is what you see. You see your stats from third person. And when you go to duo, you still see your stats. But when you switch it back over, you go to your new stats, which is actually amazing. But the worst part about this is the that worst part about this new statistics for the first person perspective is that you can't keep the same statistic that you had, which honestly, I don't think is fair to the people who've been grinding on third person perspective. And I honestly don't think it's fair because honestly, on PC, you could switch between third 
person perspective and first person perspective in the settings i wish you can do that on mobile but i don't know if they think it's unfair for people in through a third person to be versing people in first person perspective but i would like to see that in the future but enough of that there's also an, an, a couple of other things that they added as you can see when you go into your inventory you see i'm holding a scar in game right well, you can go here and then you can customize it. You can customize what gun you can be holding. So this is what the, um, these are what the snipers look like. Uh, Semi-autos. Look, that's the Uzi UP9 SMGs. I think they just hold it like that. Shotguns, hold it like the snipers, but a little bit more out. And they also added a lot of new stuff to this game as I'm, constantly telling you guys this about but they also added the armory the armory is where you can see the best loadout for every single gun so as you can see i have i'm gonna switch over to the scar here as you can see it shows the stats like the power the range the firing speed the capacity the recoil and the range so let's say i put on an eight time scope and i put on a suppressor and I put on an extended mag. As you can see, the firing speed goes up and the capacity goes up. And then you go to the foregrip, the angle foregrip. I don't know which one makes the better difference. I, I personally like the vertical foregrip. And then you can add different finishes. This finish actually looks pretty sick. I actually like that finish a lot. And then you have this finish. This finish I like the most. But this is where you can see the stats of some stuff you can see the stats of the guns and then so i know you guys all been waiting for and this is what first person mode looks like yo guys so we are back and we are now inside of the game and this is what first person looks like i actually really enjoy this and one more thing that i forgot to mention is they, did, they added an extra spot for guns so you can only have pistols in this slot, but it's actually super helpful um, because you run faster even with the, with the pistol in your hand. So as you guys can see here, I have a pistol right now. This is how it looks when you sprint and it moves back and forth just like all the other guns. But the best part about this is you, can, you run faster, almost the same speed as if you're running without a gun. It's just a little slower than that, but it's still super fast. And if you have this auto pistol, it's pretty easy running around with it. And then you can move faster than other people. So you can be like this and shoot. And plus, you could have um, a scope. Somebody's here. There, he's dead. But you guys can see that it shoots really fast. And if we have, if we have a, if we end up finding a scope, I'm gonna take that suppressor. There we go. Now I have suppressors for everything. But if we have a, if you, if you find a scope, I think you can only add a red dot scope to this. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I haven't really tested it out, but I'm pretty sure you can only add a red dot scope to the um to the pistol. Though it wouldn't be surprising. I'm gonna get my car in D8 back. Nobody's close to here. Keep thinking I hear I'm hearing somebody, but I'm not really hearing anybody. Now I am. It's this way. death this thing also shoots really fast which i really like i mean i'm looking for a red dot but i don't really see any or just a little bit more um nine millimeter ammo i'm not really finding any more it's kind of weird but i've tried putting holographic sights on it and i haven't really found a way 
for it to have any other scope but a red dot. Oh, here it is. Here's a red dot. Oh, nope. That's a holographic. I'm so stupid. Uh, do I have a Vester? I have a level 2. I'm tripping. Okay. Um, any red dots? What's over here? Oh, red dot sight. So as you can see, it adds a little red dot sight to it. And I think that's really cool. Um, uh, if I could freaking find some 9mm ammo, I could show off this gun a little bit more. But this, it has a really insane fire rate. Plus, if you find an extended clip for it, it's just literally, it's, it's ridiculous. The firing speed, it's, it's just crazy. How much 5.56 do I have? I don't even think I have a lot of 5.56. But I'm just going to keep this card because most people are going to have 5.56. So, you know, might as well. And then, I mean, I'll keep this and then I'll drop. I'm going to keep 60 of this. And I'm just going to leave the rest. Because I really don't need it. And I'm going to just go ahead and equip my my pistol. Have that ready. Wait, was there any 9mm in there? I think that's 9mm. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. You guys are probably going to patronize me. Oh, shoot. He's dead. Um, yeah, so I think that's most. Oh, by the way, you can do emote with somebody else. I see him. He's dead. But you can also do emotes in the game, as you can see. I'm doing the clapping emote right now. I don't think you guys can really see it. But yeah, I'm doing the clapping emote. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it, but... You can do emotes inside of the game, which is something that's pretty cool. But it doesn't have any music to it, like the ones that Fortnite does. So it makes it a little less satisfying. I don't think I hear anybody else. See, so guys, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. The circle's coming in. But I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode so far. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe. Hit that little bell. Ding. To be part of the notification squad. And peace.